There you go. That's my clap there. Welcome back. All hour, we've been going behind the scenes of the hit dance competition show, Legendary. And back with us is Laomi Maldonado, Law Roche, Jack Mizrahi, and my next guest, Diego Mugler, who's a member of the legendary season two winners, the house of Miyaki Mugler, and also had a similar experience when he discovered ballroom. Here's his story. Give it up for Diego Miyaki Mugler. I'm Diego from the season two winners of Legendary from the house of Miyaki Mugler. Let's bring it, Mugler. Growing up for me as a gay, black, African-American man was pretty rough. I knew that I was gay at a very young age, growing up in a religious home. I felt like I had to hide my sexuality from my family. It was just like a big no-no. I definitely felt isolated. I felt like I would be a big disappointment. I had a friend who introduced me to the ballroom scene. It just created a safe space for me where I could be myself. It gave me that confidence that I needed to be able to walk around with my head high. And I found a mother figure who was super, super uplifting and supporting and sheltered me and guided me. It's really a family. Without ballroom, I would just still be that lost little boy. Wow, Diego is here with us now. It's, I mean, when you see your life compressed like that, you get emotional. I know. Um, you know, it's, it's very emotional. Um, you know, ballroom really helped me discover myself, um, find my identity. Um, I, grew, I grew up in a very religious home. Um, I was hiding my sexuality from my mom, my grandmother, my brothers, my dad. Um, I, was, I was very nervous to come out. Um, for them, I just felt like it was going to be a big disappointment to my family. I didn't want to be a letdown. Um, I played basketball through middle school, high school. I ran track. I was very athletic. Um, so I had tons of friends, you know, that would question my sexuality. Um, you know, my mom was questioning it. Grandmother was questioning it. But I was very uncomfortable yeah. being Me, able to, yeah, who, who I was. And then you get this opportunity in life to have a house, a mother, who mm. guided you. And then you find yourself on this stage. I know. And other people, like the super fan who was just with us, cite your story mm. and your presence as why they connect now with their own mothers. How does that feel? Um, it feels amazing. You know, I, I mean, I have so many people message me on Instagram telling me, like, you know, my story is so inspiring. Um, you know, I found ballroom, you know, being lost, being that lost child. Um, I, I was, I disconnected myself from my family um, because I was afraid to tell them who I was. I found ballroom. It gave me the courage. It gave me the strength. It helped me. I found a mother figure who guided me, you know, and gave me that confidence to be able to tell my family that I was gay. You know, you said something, I was a lost child. My favorite, one of my favorite songs is Amazing Grace. Mm -hmm. You say, I was lost, but now I'm found. Mm -hmm. And you found this family who supported you, and it helped you eventually with your relationship with yes. your mother who passed away. Yeah. I mean, you're legendary. It yeah. fits you. It fits you. It absolutely fits you. Um, you know, leading up, to my ballroom career and then having the opportunity to be on Legendary, it was, you know, it was something, I was like, oh my God, this is my moment. Yeah, you know? it is. Yeah. And I was hiding my sexuality from my mom yeah. and I wound up telling her, you know, that secret and she, she was like, I already knew. I already knew. <laughs> I already knew. She well, said, listen, you have, so you, you have such a beautiful heart. I'll tell you, outside of your heart, I envy one thing how you fit in that blue suit and look so good. 